Hey guys, this is Epson HML. Wizzy Web Builder version 17 has a couple more added e-commerce features that makes it easier to work with um, some e-commerce platforms. To see this, I'm going to scroll to the e-commerce section of the toolbox so we take a look at some of these e-commerce tools that are added to it. So here are the e-commerce set of tools. As you can see, we have Eastwood Shop and Cart. We have the usual PayPal options here. And then we have Vibra Cart Pro. Now, there are a few more which are added. To activate or to access them, you have to bring an image to the canvas. So I'll select an image and then draw on the canvas. And then I'm going to select an ordinary image for this particular purpose. And then after selecting the image, all you have to do is to click or select it and then come to the home section of the ribbon. And then under advanced, you have e-commerce here. So once you click on e-commerce, this is going to come in a form of a pop-up. And then it's also going to happen in a form of event. So you notice that this is an event on, on, on click event. And then the action is set to e-commerce. Now this is where you get to see the other options that are available in terms of the e-commerce aspect. So by default, you have eSuite. If you click on the um, drop down arrow, you have Gumroad, you have Paddle, you have PayPal, you have Snapcart, Stripe, Viber Cut Pro, and then Web Money. Now the cool thing about this is based on what you select to determine the information that you have to populate or fill in here. If I select Paddle, you notice that the information are more. And then if I select PayPal as the same thing here, more information required. If I go to select Snapcut, you notice that I need to provide uh, more information. The same as Stripe and Vibercut Pro and then finally Web Money. Now let me just come back to Israel. You notice that there is um, a warning icon over here. This is asking us to do something. So it says that in order for this functionality to work, you need to set Israel store ID uh, and options that is e-commerce. So that is actually the next section I'm going to take you. So all these e-commerce options available here need some form of configuration for them to be able to work so let's take a look at how to access them to be able to get to them let me just see if this is going to allow me to um, get to them from here okay so it does actually so you have to click on this icon or simply come to tools and then go to options and then under um, options you come to e-commerce so you notice that the various e-commerce options that we, we saw earlier are all available here so what is going to happen is that e -suite for e -suite, you need to provide your e -suite store id since e -suite is an e-commerce platform where you can set up your store and then you have for paddle you have to um, enter your vendor id here for PayPal, it's your normal email address, that is your PayPal email. And then for Snapcut, you need to provide your API key. And then for Stripe, you need to provide your publish key. And then for Vibra Cut Pro, you need to provide a path to your store. And then also, of course, you can also provide the website URL of your e-commerce um, store. And then for Unsplash key, uh, for Unsplash, you need to provide your access key. Now Unsplash is a stock um, photo platform where you can get images to work with. Now under each of these field, you notice there's an icon here. So these icon allows you to go to the specific place where you can get these information to fill in. Yeah. So when you hover on any of them, you notice it gives you um, a two tip and then gives you the path to where you have to go to, or you can simply click on them and it's going to launch your browser for you to get those specific information. So for this particular tutorial, uh, we are just looking at the e-commerce aspect, how to activate it and where to do the configuration. 
and subsequent videos we are going to look at how to get these um, information to populate and fill in so that you can set up your e-commerce store that is just about it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching bye for now